uh, house here, and uh, I guess it says there are some tenants already uh, living in it and things like that? There's one. He's been given notice. Oh, okay. So he plans to move out. That's his thing now? He better. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so what's going on here? I mean, I saw it said something about uh, it's a short sale or something like that pending, or what's, what's the no, deal? No, it's, it's not a short sale. No. Oh, I just said that on Zillow. Oh, well, it's not a short sale. Oh, okay. Great, great. So, um, so the tenant is moving out, and, uh, is there a reason why you decide to sell it, or? Yeah, I'm just sick of dealing with it. Yeah, being a landlord can be a headache, right? Yeah, especially when the guy's not paying your rent. Oh, my goodness. So, what was he supposed yeah. to be paying every month? Well, I had two people in there, and the other guy moved out of town. He'd been in there for 10 years. They were both paying 375 a month. And I put it on the market when, just with a sign when the guy moved out and gave the other guy 30 days notice. He was supposed to be out November 1st, and he's still there. And he hasn't paid rent for the last two months. Did he say why, or what, what's his what he don't? He just doesn't well, have he's it? He's always or? got an excuse. Yeah. And it only gets worse it's when they get close the, to the It's Christmas. not the first time, yeah. Yeah. So he's already been given a notice for eviction, I guess is what it is? When, when he moved in, we signed a standard 30 days notice from either party to, you know, if they were moving out or if I needed them to move out, either one, either party was given 30 days notice. Oh, okay. So he's he's cooperating almost partially, huh? Yeah, not really. Right, right. And so... um Let's see here. And so this, so the house, need, you said it had a little bit of repairs that were needed. Something about a leaky roof or something like that? Yeah, from that second floor addition, yeah. Is it real bad it's or just? And it's, and it's, it's caused damage to the ceiling inside. Oh, wow. And since that guy's been in there, he uh, he didn't even tell me it was leaking. Mm -hmm. I didn't know until after I put it on the market and took some people up there to see it. Oh, my goodness. So you went yeah, up there. Yeah, so yeah. So you saw it, and then all of a sudden, they say, oh, man, this house needs repairs, and you didn't even tell me anything. Right. Wow. That makes no sense. And so it's just, the, I know you said it was two people in there originally, so it's just one guy that's still giving a little bit of trouble? Yeah. Mm-mm-mm. So, dang, is he in communication with you or whatever, or is he just kind of, like, floating? He, I... I call him up when I've got people to show the place, and other than that, you know, he'll, he'll answer the phone when I call. He won't respond to emails or anything like that, but, yeah, like I said, he's just kind of a jackass, so. Wow. The sooner, he's, the sooner I'm done with it, the better. Right, right. And so are you waiting till he's out before you're ready to sell it, or are you ready to sell it as is with the tenant in place? I'm ready to sell it as is, and... I don't know how that works legally, but I would think once I no longer own the property, he's in, he's trespassing. Exactly. We'll get him out of there. Don't worry about that part. That's our specialty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're, you're, you're the second person that's told me that. Don't worry. We'll get him out. <laughs> oh, yeah. We, well, that's what we, you know, you have to deal with these people. You know, they just disrespect you and don't want to pay. And, you know, people get ridiculous. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Oh, I know. I'm living it. Wow. Is this the only rental property you have, or you have others? No, this is the only one I have. I bought it, oh, I guess it's 12 years ago. My son had moved back to town from New York City, and and I had a little extra money to pull out of my house and use that for a down payment, and then he moved out to Los Angeles a few years ago, and I've been dealing with it ever since. Oh, wow. Yeah, so... I know how this can be a definitely a, uh, a difficult task. Have you ever thought about trying to list this house with a real estate agent or something like that? Or? Well, yeah, I have a couple people coming to look at it this week who just want to buy it as is and rehab it. Yeah. And so have you had any quotes or anything as far as the repairs that need to be made? Do you know about how much it would take to get everything uh, as far as the roof fix have, type of stuff? have no clue. No clue, huh? Yeah, because I know a roof can get expensive. That's one of those major things, right? Yeah, well, it's a flat roof, so it shouldn't be too bad. Oh, okay, so that helps out. So a flat roof. Okay, and so um, it says here you're trying to get 72000 for it. Is that correct? So that was my starting price, yeah. 
So, so what's the best case scenario for you? What would make everything just a perfect world for you getting rid of this house as far as getting rid of this house is concerned? I would love to get rid of it the beginning of December so I don't have to deal with it at the end of the year. Mm, okay, okay. Have you had any offers on it or anything so far? Yes, I've got two people coming to look at it. They both made they both made tentative offers and they're coming to look at it this week. Oh, okay. So you're going to be making a decision for sure this week, huh? Hopefully. Okay. Are, are they giving you what you're asking for or are they getting close or what's the deal? Yeah, because I know you said it's, uh, let's see, about a $61,000 mortgage on there or something like that? Yeah. Right. And so you were just trying to get something to go, you know, put in pocket after that. Uh, what, were, what were you trying to walk away with as far as uh, at closing? Um, no, I'm not going to tell you that. I mean, well, I'm just... what you offer me. <laughs> well, no, I'm saying what would be good for you. I mean, not the offer part, but what, what would make you happy? That's all I'm trying to figure out. Um, getting a couple thousand in my pocket. So two thousand? I said getting a couple thousand in my pocket. So two thousand in pocket, is that what you mean there? Okay. I said a couple, not ten. Oh, a couple, so two, two thousand. Well, a little more than that. So somewhere around there that'll make you feel that'll make you feel satisfied and get this thing behind you and not have to deal with this tenant anymore? Yep. Yeah. I know that's right. And so, um, okay, so w when are they going to be coming to take a look at it, the other people that were interested? Uh, I got somebody coming Monday and somebody coming Tuesday. Oh, wow. They're not messing around, huh? Nope. Okay. All right. And so other than the roof and the ceiling in that upstairs part, are there any other repairs, anything that you're aware of that the house may need? Um, no repairs, but it does need some updating in a few spots. Just a few, huh, baby? Have you made any updates while you uh, owned it? The only thing I've done is it's two, the house is two separate sections. The front is a three-room shotgun, and then they did a second-floor addition on the back. And I put a new roof on the uh, on the three-room shotgun part when I bought it. Mm, okay, so it's in parts. Okay. Right, right. Okay, so that sounds good there. And so... Um, I think it's something we can do something with here. I mean, it doesn't seem like it's too far-fetched. This house is 590 square feet. Is it really that small, or is that just a, a misprint here? Um, well, the, I think the, the footprint of the first floor might only be about 600 feet. Seems like it's a little bigger than that to me, but then that addition in the back is a 14 by 16 room. And it's got a walk-in closet in its own bathroom up there. Oh, so you can basically make it like two separate apartments or something like that? Yeah, that's how I've always rented it, was it's two separate apartments. Okay. Somebody, somebody rented the front two rooms of the shotgun, somebody rented the upstairs bedroom, and then they shared the kitchen. Oh, and they've always got along, so that's good. So, uh, so it's... Uh, uh, Right, and enough that you know about, right? <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> so just as one guy is left, the other one already moved out, and so as long as uh, right. we can resolve something with him and get him out of there, or resolve it with him. Why did he say he was uh, behind? Did he lose his job or something, or what's going on there? He's, uh, he's he's just a jerk. Um, he has some health issues, and when he first moved in, he's on social security. And so I'm assuming that because of his health issues, that's eating up a lot of his Social Security check. He never really had a problem not paying until he got sick. But on the other hand, he just took out a loan for a new car. Mm. Not a new, new car, a new used car. But, uh, you know, I'm sorry, if you can't pay your rent, why are you taking out a, a car loan? Exactly. That doesn't make sense at all. No. Like I said, he's a jackass. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know him pretty well, huh? So, so when they pay you money, you know him a little better than most people, right? Yeah. Okay. So he's supposed to be paying three seventy five a month. And, uh, mm. okay. So, and then it says here your monthly payment to your mortgage is five ten a month. And that's including PITI, principal interest taxes yeah. and insurance. Yeah. 
Okay. And that's current and everything, or that just uh, is that going to be need to be caught up? No, that's current. Okay, so that's good. All right, so it looks like I have uh, most of what I need here. Uh, how do I go about seeing inside of it? Do I need to make an appointment as well, or how does that go? Yeah, um, let's see. I have to work. Let me get my schedule here. I think I have to work Wednesday night. Probably the earliest that I could show it to you. Thursday. So that's the, uh, what is it going to be, like the 20th? Or no, the 21st, I guess? Yeah. 20. Uh, 21st, yeah. 21st. Okay. Yeah, and are you uh, available yeah, in the off. afternoon, you think? Or? Yeah, like 3.45. It's halfway between my job and my house. Oh, wow. So I can get there about 3.45. Okay, okay. So, yeah, so uh, we can do Thursday, 3.45. I can meet you over there at the house. Um, I'm going to crunch some more numbers here. Um, what was the best uh, email address for you? Okay, I'm going to uh, crunch some numbers here, and uh, I'll shoot you over something by email. So uh, just a recap of our conversation here and everything. And uh, I'll plan to see you on Thursday afternoon. Did you have any other questions or anything for me before I let you go? Yeah, what was your name again, Sean? No, my name is Chris. Chris with St. Louis Cash Buyers, buying your house for cash, making it easy for you. <laughs> Chris, okay. Yeah. All righty, just so I don't automatically, you know, delete an email that I don't know who it's coming from. So. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, so this is my number here. If something changes and we need to move up the time, move back the time, anything like that, feel free to call back or text. Either one is fine. We communicate all different ways. So um, we're here for you in any okay. way. Our, our whole goal is to make it a win-win situation, all right? All righty. Thank you so much. All right. Appreciate it. Bye-bye. Uh, this lead came from, yeah, I think it did come from, let me see, was it Zillow? Zillow for sale by owner. So she's being bombarded with people. I don't really like these kind of deals because to me they're really not off market. And I got two other potential buyers, probably wholesalers. The house ARV is about 120 and she only owes uh, about 61K. So, you know, and she wanted 72 and it sounds like she's pretty flexible on pricing and things like that. So we might be able to make a deal out of this. I would rather try to keep the deal depending on how bad his roof is or what. I mean, I probably can do something. It's in a pretty decent area of St. Louis, over near the zoo, uh, right in the middle of St. Louis, near the St. Louis Zoo, world-known zoo, just for you. Arr! Whatever kind of animals they got in there. So, uh, yeah, this, this was a follow-up call, so I got a little bit of more information. She seems pretty motivated. She seemed pretty happy. You know, if I can, uh, I'm going to shoot her an email over with a tentative offer, which is uh, I'm going to offer her something. I'm going to offer her a cash deal, I'm going to offer her a terms deal, and I'm going to offer her a lease option deal, and I'm going to offer her just a listed with the Realtor. But, you know, it looks like uh, we might can make something happen here. Five ten a month, P-I-T-I. -I. That's a low monthly payment. I can do that and give her a couple grand like she wants. I can give her two or three grand. That's, you know, to take over the payments on that house, why not? So uh, two bedroom, two bath little house and they said it's divided up so that's another thing so I'm thinking multiple exit strategies on this house if we're able to get it uh, we always know about the lease option which is my favorite go to we also got the uh, potential for a uh, uh, what they call the Airbnb VRBO one of those uh, short term rentals because of the area it's in it's near the zoo it's probably within one mile of there so that area is real good for that so uh, I'm definitely going to check this out and make sure these numbers are right because I got it all on my sheet here I want to make sure that, uh, you know, the information I got here all checks out. Shoot her an offer over, and uh, we're ready to go. She sounds motivated. But, yeah, it was a Zillow lead. What do you think about this lady? you think she's motivated, or you think she's going to say, no, nah, we'll take this other offer from this other guy? Because, really, I'm kind of glad that she says to, you know, wait till Thursday. I'd rather wait, really. I don't want to be the first or second to make an offer. I want these other people to make all their offers first, to be honest. Uh, I usually want to be the last one, if possible. Um, I'm probably going to give her another call back before that time, you know, to butter her up a little bit more, build a little bit more rapport, and then uh, make my offer from that point and see what we can do. But she seems pretty reasonable. She wants to have it sold. She say by December 1st, I can do that. We had this bad boy closed by December 1st. If the title worked good, I'll take it down right over there in that good area. So long, my biggest thing though is making sure this house doesn't need any major repairs. She already said the roof 
need some work and some leaking coming in on the ceiling upstairs. So as long as there's nothing too stupid, I mean, you know, a couple thousand dollars here or there, as long as it's not ridiculous in repairs, uh, we probably can do something with this house. Another house going to get taken down. And for those who don't know, my name is Chris Monroe, the student master teacher, Mr. I Stay Woke. If you got any questions, comments, or concerns, go ahead and drop them in here. I'll try to answer them before I get up out of here and do some more woke stuff. If you can, share this video out. Hit that share button there. Share it to somebody talking about this real estate talk. Share if you care. And uh, do it just like that. And also, don't forget to join the Woke Real Estate Investors Group on Facebook. Free Facebook group, Woke Real Estate Investors. Let's see here. Trying to get it done by December. Right. Hope you get it, bro. Yeah, I'm going to try. I'm going to try. You know, I don't know. Seems okay. I mean, like I said, it's a Zillow lead, so, you know, it's kind of special. You got multiple people making offers. So if this ARV, from what I'm seeing here, uh, up to 120, if that's if that's true, which I'm going to verify here, because this stuff was given to me already, I'm just going to evaluate it, make sure it makes sense, and make this offer. And if you're in the St. Louis market and you want to get in this real estate game, hit me up. I'm hiring some acquisitions people help me clear up some of these deals because we got more leads than I can even process let me see here let me pull up my lead sheet here show you how serious this is this is serious one second here um, this is serious all these ones purple right here all leads for sale interested for callback all these people here I got about I don't know 70 or 80 of them in here all the way, well, I don't know why it's not going down. Yeah, all these people here in my podio system. So it's a lot more. All those people need to be followed up, made an offer on, evaluated, all that. So, yeah. Did you use your script or is this a natural flow? Well, it's a natural flow, partially script. But I don't really use a script. I use a guideline. So this sheet here has pretty much everything y'all would want to know about a deal. I actually have another sheet here. Let me see here. If I can pull it up. I even have some information here. Let me show you what I got here. I, I didn't use this, but I got a sheet here that shows all the different stuff here, the stuff you want to know before you make an offer, all that good stuff. So I got systems in place. Why are they selling? Disadvantages of selling and not selling. Paint a picture. Tell them why you want to do it. Use your partner's leverage. All this different stuff here. Be confident in making an offer. These are all the training tools that I created internally for the company so that uh, we're making good offers and doing things in a structure because I know how to do it but you know it's one thing for me to be great but I want to make other people great I want to create some millionaires it's one thing to make yourself a millionaire but make multiple millionaires just like that so that's my plan if you want to get my scripts or my coaching or any of that type of stuff wokerealestate.com is the website if you want to get your hand held through deals told how to do it the scripts the guidelines the way the inflection of the voice all of that good stuff wokerealestate.com is the website the links are in the description or in my bio here so, with all that being said, I'm about to get up out of here and do some more woke stuff. Hope you learned something today. Do what you do. Be who you be. And I'll see you before you see me. Peace out, family.